Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my knitting podcast. Today, today I decided to try to record on my phone because we are in the process, process of the moving and that's really hard for me to find time for recording a video, then upload all this on computer and yeah, it's all too complicated right now. So um i think there wasn't video like for three weeks and i don't have so much time for knitting as before but um, i have some pro some projects what i already finished and i want to show them a while i remember all details and while still new yep so i will start with yeah, I'm not wearing any knitting objects because that's too warm outside and I'm trying, as I told before, we are moving, so I'm trying to pack already everything. We are moving to another city, so it's not that smooth, like, to change apartment in one city. So I pack almost all my knitted clothes already and today I'm packing my yarn. So some yarn that will be hard for me to show because it's already packed in the boxes. Yeah, but I will start with that what I already finished. Previously, I was showing the brioche cardigan what I was working on and I finished that. I will show you that. Um, I do not know if I will... It, if that will be possible for me today to upload the pictures i will try but i do not know because i never made this on the phone before so i will try but if no you always can find pictures on my finished object on my ravelry page on instagram and links are always below the video okay so that's my knitting cardigan Um, it's a pattern. I don't know if it's have name yet. I don't think so. So it's brioche cardigan by Dorde Patterson. Yeah, I will make a link below for her Instagram page and Ravelry that you can find it. I used two yarn for this. One is like plain gray yarn this light gray color and another what's showing more inside is like variegating gray it's have like almost off white and different tones of gray and to black color uh, yeah it's like that it's look like that in the skin i have two skins more of this yarn yeah i bought this just before just because i like how it's look so now i'm using this when i have a chance for this yep so that's finished i block it is i don't move all the ends yet but i will work with that and uh, no that's not true i will woo all the ends i just don't cut them and i'm missing the buttons yeah and i don't get any chance yet to get um to some shop to get the button but out of this I really like how it start, turn out it's um, oversized cardigan but at the same time it's cropped and have these balloony sleeves with nice nice looking decreases yeah I'm looking forward to wearing this I think with some dark dress or with jeans and some dark t-shirt that will look really nice will show out all these stitches and yeah i'm really happy with this um i think i use more than two skins i make size s i use more than two skins of variegated yarn and a little more of gray so maybe three skins of gray so yeah, but it feels still quite light. 
that was my main color and it's yarn by Smooksack yarn it's Danish company uh, yeah I have that full skin yeah it's look like that Smooksack Reloaded Merino and that is number A004 yep and it's light fin green because it's have um, I don't know how good you will see now. 230 meters for 50 grams so yeah it's light fin green and that another yarn yeah I don't know if I have label no I have um it's a luxus sock yarn by who bumbo I believe my flower and that is a number color 8335110 but i believe that they stopped producing this yarn yep because i cannot see the i cannot find them more in the shop so maybe they stopped producing this but ah I believe that you still can find this somewhere on the internet yeah so that's my first finished object and i believe that's the biggest thing what i finished lately and now i'm more working on something small because again it's hard to carry with me big stuff yep okay so next finished object Ah, it's not almost finished. It's almost finished and you need to sew this together, but oops. it's called Dreamwalker Call, Call by Winter Weather Knits. Um, I need this already. It's ready, but I need to sew it together. It needs to be sewed here. It's really nice pattern. It's made by um, no. It's used linen stitch. I don't really like to knit it, but I really like how it's look. So yeah, I was just knitting this pattern, and I really like how it's turned out. I use again this um, uh, sock yarn. It's this light gray and um, this dark. It's look like almost like a black, but it's like and dark gray. Yeah, it's have some uh, uh, gray tones to that. It's like cold black. So I use both of that yarn. You start here in the point and then you use just first color. Then you entering second color, but it's a more accent here is this lighter color then in this section you use more of darker next color and the last one is just darker color and uh, you use slipping stitches so it's not like really color work it's like slipping stitches yeah that was fun to knit and i think that i will use this a lot yeah, it can even go with this one cardigan on top yeah and dark jeans Oops. <laughs> yeah so i'm really happy with this need just to sew that together but i don't made that yet and i didn't block it yet so maybe that's what i will do next week but again really like the fabric really like that yarn i actually ordered two another colors of this yarn i believe i ordered some darker gray and some color which should be like bluishly greenish something like that but i do not know because i didn't sell this in real i just ordered this through internet so we will see next time when i will record i will show you this but yeah I really like i believe that when i will sew it together and then it will you should wear this like a tube through the head so it will 
sit nicely and have here some look like it's shawl maybe yeah um and i also like how the linen stitch look with two colors that's really cool i'm making some um kitchen towels with linen stitch because i really like how it look but because it's not clothes but something with the will be used at home that's taking me really long time i believe i cast on that towel last year and it's have maybe like that length so oops that will be done in some day but that's not now so yeah that's my second almost finished object i believe i will sew the ends and then will post picture on instagram yeah, because I do not know when I will have time to record next time. So I don't know if I will show you that completely finished, finished. Yeah, but again, really like this. Winter's weather, winter's weather needs it, the name uh, of designer. I will try to put links below. And I don't know when is the pattern should be released, but I believe that it's quite close because we was need to be ready with this need yeah, in a day, like next day from today. So yeah, I believe that will be published soon. Yeah, so that's my second almost finished objects. And now I have really finished objects, yes. I bought the sock, block, sock blockers. <laughs> Yeah, I choose this one with hairs and I really like them. I don't know how they will be in use because I just got this. I didn't try to block socks on them and I don't know if I'm going to, but my purpose with buying this was to show the socks nicely on a podcast because, or for pictures on Instagram, because it's really hard to show this just like without that and pretending that uh, people can see everything. Yeah, so this pattern is the broken seed stitch pattern by Hannah Bevaniani. I do not know the how it's rotten it looks like it's finished yep and my finish is not existing yeah uh, i need the socks like a part to participate in knit alone what it's called free socks 2020 it's every month it's new pattern it's free pattern and then you're choosing yarn what you want and need to make that socks in that month. I need this pattern once before and it was my Christmas socks some years ago. I use white like a main color and uh, another color because the, it's like striped every... You use one yarn, main color yarn for toe, heels and cuff if you wish so because the pattern is more like a recipe not like structure you need to know how to knit socks when you start in this pattern because it's basically telling you to start with amount of stitches what can be divided with four then it's telling you start as you want to up or cuff down and then it's telling you um, pattern repeat how it should be and all like start the toe when you came to this place or in another way yeah so um as i told before once i made this pattern before that was my christmas socks main color was white and that another color was variegating like white pink red that was looking quite Christmassy, but this year 
while we was on corona quarantine at home i make a haul around here in that sock so they're not with us anymore but you still can find the picture of them on my Ravelry page yeah and I like how that turned on I use again two yarn what I have with my stash uh, I will try to look in my project back if I still have it. yeah I have some so that's all what I have left from my main color and that's how much I have from contrasting color. E yips. I have band from main color. It's strompegan, it's sock yarn, and yeah. It's Danish yarn, what you can buy in some supermarkets. I had just one ball. I don't know how but I had just one ball and this they look really similar so I believe it's the same just this one is variegated it's have like white then like beige brownie and some bluish tones but it's going nicely together I think and I like when it's not really high contrast between them yeah for this I don't know no color no the brand but they came together nicely both was in my stash i will i use them i believe that will go to my uh, cozy memory blanket even it's not a lot i don't know if it's having have three gram this is a little more so i do not know if i still want to use this in something else before i put this in cozy memory blanket or what I will do, I don't decide yet, but yeah, it's finished. I made them on uh, two millimeter needles in magic loop, and I make them top. First, I start to make them two at a time, uh, yeah, but after I finish the top, and then I need to every row you change in the color, and then I had ball what i was pulling from inside and from outside one color and another and that man went not good that all was together i was can find out what i'm doing from which i should pull then all went in full mess a ripple socked and start all from begin and make just one by one i use um, i take them out but i use markers and I mark not every 10 rows, but I mark every repeat. And it's four, uh, four lines. So I had a lot of markers, but yeah, my feet size, foot size is not that big. So that was okay. But at least I knew that I don't make more repeats on some socks. Yeah, I'm showing one on sock blocker and one like that. They wasn't blocked yet. They are not identical because I wasn't trying to match on the variegated yarn but I like them how they look they wasn't blocked yet and they probably don't gonna be blocked before we move and settle down yeah but other of this they finished I really like them I believe I should remake um bind off on this one sock um i like to use tubular bind off but i believe that i make this too tight on this one it's look like okay but while i'm trying to put this through the heel that's not that okay <laughs> so yeah that one is good that was not that good and i hate to rip tubular bind off so yeah, it's gonna wait. <laughs> Maybe then the blogging will help it. But out of this, really like them. And so that is finished object number three. Yep, that's number three. And next one, it's again socks. This is Venice uh, or Venus 
socks by Sari Nardlun. That was a pattern number four in Sari's summer call when there was three socks starting from May, I believe, so May, June, July, and this one in August. And the August pair is using leftover from previous three pairs. And yeah, I knew about this before. So when I was buying the yarn for previous socks, I was trying to match the colors that they will look together. To know how nice you, how you can see. But all this yarn is tweedy yarn from, um, yeah, I just get the, had the label. But apparently they didn't have this now. From I believe that it's Tweedy Sock Yarn by Lana Grossa. And all the numbers of the yarn is on my previous uh, pages for previous socks. Um, I have two socks. Oh, I can try. Now when I show previous sock, I can take it out. Yeah, sock blockers look like this really like them i think they're funny <laughs> look quite big when i get this i was thinking that it's look quite big and i actually need to stretch socks a little so i believe they're a little too big for my size but i take i but i bought size s smaller that was kid size and i don't think the kid size was good for me yeah i don't move the ends on this socks yes and as you can imagine it's a lot of ends because it's not self-striving yarn <laughs> you are connecting all the stripes and cutting all this and yips so that will be work to do on this socks i'm happy with tubular bind off i again make them top nine i'm lying i don't make them top I make them calf down because the pattern calls like that and I make this according to the pattern Oops. on this one the it's nice size for sock blocker maybe too big for me but I will make it work because I was trying to make um, how should I tell this the colors will match nicely and then I can that I can put cuff uh, toe and heel in one color so I was went through through repeat of colors I don't make full repeat of this color but I make this as long as that will look as I make the repeat so yeah they're done really like how they look saying the colors is connecting really nice I'm really happy that I make all four patterns now we should make a picture of them and enter to the sari nordlund's call yeah really like them um last socks i make on all socks in that collection i was knitting on two and a half millimeter needles yes and now i have bands from the yarn um uh, yeah it's Lana Grossa tweet and different colors. I will don't know now which is from which band, but I can show you how much yarn I have back from that. That is all main color. That is all gray and, and it's not want this light blue. So it's like that and I will try yeah, I think they will just go to my cozy memory blanket. They look nice. Maybe I will try to put them one near each other. That that will remind me of this socks. Yeah, that's all. No, it isn't all. Yeah. <laughs> I have one more finished object. Yes. And this year I decide to participate in NOM Nitalon. 
there is a designer and she's famous for making noms and that was always interesting for me but for some reason i never went to make it even that now when i'm going through her designs i see that there is two noms what was made before which i really like and will maybe buy the pattern to make them yep but yeah, if you still don't finish with all, um, there was nine clue for the norm. If you don't finish with all, then don't look. But yeah, the last one went two days ago. So I believe that, and they all wasn't complicated. So I believe that all is already done. And this is my norm. I really like how it's turned out. Really like um the pattern called for four colors twenty gram I believe yeah I believe it's called for twenty grams four colors would will be matched together and the uh, information before pattern you get in how they should match and all this but I decided to went not with four colors I just gather some yarn what they have like in one tones and for this one i take like grayishly greenish tones and just decide to put them together like that will be going and i really like how it's turned on it's a really great head with this spiral on top really nice nose the beard with the pattern it have this kangaroo pocket uh, where it's hiding hands it's quite cute uh, i didn't have a lot of stuffing because i bought some stuffing for i was previously making the dinosaur toy for my son and i had some stuffing left over from this and i basically used all of that for this gnome so yeah as i did before Previously, I was telling like toys that is something what I will never need, but yeah, that's the second in last two months or three months. So, yep. And I like how it's turned out. And I think maybe I will do two more by that designer. She have one and it's have, um, yeah, I do not know how to, the pattern, color work all over really like it and it's have one when it's have braids on the head and on the body also like that and she have one would look more like a clown or something like this because it have head and head splitting in like three parts what for me it's like clown head maybe it isn't but it's there and they're around this size so i think maybe i will do them and maybe I will choose some colors more suitable for Christmas and make them or yeah or maybe just different colors and we'll have somewhere place them on the shelf yeah because I don't think my son will play with this he have the dinosaur what they make for him but he's sick so he's not that up for toys like small kids anymore and he's a boy so yep but really like how it is how it's turned out i do not know how much exactly yarn is like me because as i mentioned before i didn't start with amount what pattern calls for but yeah saying that is really nice yeah i really like it so yep that was all my finished objects and the pattern what I'm working now with is all really yeah, strange because I'm picking up some projects every week, taking with them with me to work and yep, added up. we need to move next weekend. So almost all our house is like in boxes and yeah. Um, we have new 
cases with corona and uh, mostly of all that cases it's in a city to which we are moving to so it's all more complicated because my son already start the school there and there are more strict rules about how all this going now so yeah i don't really have a time and possibility to really relax and think what i will need so i just picking up something what i have near me and working as much as i can because if the pattern is too complicated and i need to put a lot of pressure there then that's not gonna happen it's like that was easy there was short clue there wasn't anything hard small amount of the stitches that was easy socks also was easy um cowl was easy cardigan i finished before we start all this move yeah uh, but there is one project what i'm working now it's a sweater and sweater with color work i'm almost done i need like just finishing and still don't finish that's that sweater what i'm talking about it's called it florarium sweater by flora knits yep i will show you that what i have for now as i just mentioned it's not completely finished but it's on the way so the sweater is knitted from down to up yeah it's called like that truly believe that it's called like that but i do not really know and um, so it's have color work on the end of the sleeves on the bottom of the sleeves color work on the bottom of the body then plain sleeves and a body and then color work on top also i really like how it's look it have like this floats what is sleeping and yeah i believe that i have like two or three lines of color work back and then just finishing it and it still don't finished cannot believe <laughs> yep i do not know why i'm leaving the sweater on this stage but it's basically more than weak. It's lying like that. And I don't make even a stitch on that. Even that like, it's almost finished. It's almost done. I really like it. I try it. Sits nice. I look it. I like it. Like the fabric, like the yarn, like how the color worked, you know. Can't push myself to finish this, but yeah. And that will be nice to wear this. I made this in um, light fingering uh, yarn, so that will be nice to wear when the weather will go down. Yeah, cannot explain why it's not finished, but it isn't. But yeah, I will try. I don't know when I will record next time. For this week, I think I'm planning take my blanket with me and just work in the evenings when I have time on a blanket um, I believe I will take cozy memory blanket and just some yarn with me what can be matched there and will work on that yep so yeah I believe it's all if I will have possibility if I will find out how to enter the pictures I will do this if no then you always can find the pictures on my Ravelry pages on my Instagram page if you have some question about needles yarn pattern maybe I tell wrong or pronounce wrong then just write me comments here on Instagram and I will answer to that but other of this I hope you all safe I hope you all have time to relax with your knitting. Yeah, I feel like we all in this 
time need something that will give us a chance to relax yeah i was almost on the way to believe that corona is already easier and everything is okay and we can go back to normal life but <laughs> we get the restrictions back they before in denmark it wasn't it, the people didn't use masks it wasn't like okay some people was using them but it wasn't like you should do this it wasn't a law that people should do this but in the city to what we are moving to it's already second week like if you're using public transport you need to use them and starting from today they make this like law in all country so now you should use mask everywhere and like always they were sold down from the beginning and that was a little crazy now it's more of them but yep there's new cases yeah in my son's school there was three classes what was sent home to be test tests yeah to be tested and yeah, they should come back to school from next week. It looked like another kid wasn't infected. But, yeps, all looks strange. And, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for telling all this. Maybe not that fun stuff out. But, yeah, we are living at that time and it's all going like that yeah again i hope you all have time to relax and have fun with your knitting yeah hi this is